Hi everybody, this is Susie, and I'm so excited tonight to share this video with you. Um, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you, Lily. Um, Lily is over at Shabbylicious. She has that beautiful Zabet.com store. I just want to say, Lily, thank you so much for all the beautiful things you sent me. I was really overwhelmed when I opened my package this time. Your romance collection is absolutely beautiful, and your new laces that came in are really lovely. I really appreciate the way you take the time to send everything so nicely packaged and uh, sharing so many new items with your designers. It really means a lot to me, and I just wanted you to know that I really appreciate you. And uh, with that said, I put together an extra special uh, presentation this evening for all of you to enjoy and see exactly what you can do uh, with some of the items from uh, Lily's Shabbylicious store. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to um, I'm just going to open up the whole thing here and show you what I've done. So I've got one side of my room that's a very messy place and one side that looks really pretty. So we'll stay with the pretty side right now. And what I've done was uh, just to um, make sure you all know the milk vase, the Christmas wreath, and the red berries all belong to me. Those are from my stash. Those are not in Lily's store. Everything else you see here are, is in Lily's store. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on over to the wreath. Um, this is a Christmas wreath that I had purchased last year from Michael's Craft Store uh, after the um, holidays. And um, I was looking for something to make an extra special presentation uh, this evening uh, for these product share. Uh, and so I'm just getting my, deep, my um, tripod in order here. Uh, and um, and I really wanted to put something together uh, so that you can see exactly what you can do uh, with some of the items from Shabbylicious. So um, I'm going to turn my art light on because it's evening time and there uh, there's not much light that is coming through um, from the blinds outside. And I think that's just a little bit better. Um, and sharing with you um, what I have here. Um, on the wreath, I wanted to lay out some of these items so that you can get an idea of exactly how you can use um, these products from Shabbylicious. Now, of course, we're getting into the Christmas holiday next month, and everybody's buying things for decorating, making gifts, um, packaging gifts in beautiful packaging, um, decorating their home, giving gifts, uh, buying things and making them for yourself. Uh, your own decorations for inside of your house, for your window, for your office, uh, for your place at work, and so on. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, just going to um, zoom up and show you some of these items from the romance collection uh, that Lily now has on her store. Absolutely gorgeous. And this time I made sure that I had my ruler ready <laughs> so that I can um, share with you. Now, I bent this just a little bit because it's on a large wire. But look how long that that is. That's like about a good seven inches long. And on there, there are so many little fabric flowers of organza and shiny pearlized white like a nylon fabric. They're shooting pearls coming out of them. As you can see right over here, these are all dangling that's coming from this. How gorgeous would that be on, on the side of a bride's head in a comb? I mean, it's really outstanding, and Lily has such amazing prices in her store. Um, and I'm not just saying that just to say it. Um, I'm saying it because I really mean it. And um, uh, sometimes you buy these things that are so affordable, and, you know, if you were getting married and you didn't want to spend four or $500 on your tiara, you can simply buy a comb, and for a few dollars you can you know, wear this. Just absolutely gorgeous. Or use it for your Christmas decoration of some kind. You can even use it as one of those um, holly berries that are hanging on your, your door to kiss somebody. So, okay. And coming over to this one, I'm going to use the ruler, the ruler as a pointer. That's a really pretty uh, mesh lace. Um, it's probably about a yard, and I tied it into a bow 
just to give you an example of what you can do with some of these very wide laces for the holidays. Not only wrapping gifts, but you can use the bow. Uh, you can use that lace, tie it up in a bow, and make a really pretty bow for the top of your wreath, as you can see here. And this is a fairly large wreath that I have out on my table, guys. Um, I'm just going to put my ruler next to it so you can get the idea that it's um, probably around 12 inches in the height. And so another part of my favorites of the uh, of the, what I got in my package are these tremendous snowflakes. And they are so beautiful. I hung up a few of them all around. And you'll see as I get closer to some of these items here. Um, and I just want to show you that they are, I want to zoom up because it's important to me um, that you know what you're getting. Those are probably about two and a half to three inches wide and they're absolutely beautiful. You can buy 30 of those and hang them all over your tree and you're done. Gorgeous. And also, um, just showing you here, I don't want to forget anything. Um, you see these tiny little um, acrylic bird doves? Or birds, doves, they're so beautiful. And around Christmas time, they are absolutely amazing. And, um, you know, uh, sometimes uh, things happen to people when they're not here anymore. And the doves are so loved in so many different ways. And I, I made some of these. This is not part of my project, but I made some of those um, crucifixes at one point, and I was using these doves on there. And it's just such a beautiful, um, beautiful way of embellishing anything down to something that can be sad or romantic or happy in the holidays. Just truly amazing. I really, really love those. And you can see also this item right here um, is another applique of Lily's that I just stuck in between the berries just to show you that there is more to those appliques than making flowers with them or, or cutting them up. And this was, when I took this out of the bag, I was flabbergasted. I was ooey and eyeing, and my husband's like, what's going on in there? I was so excited. This piece is so pretty. It's like, it's an organza wired poinsettia, and each leaf is carefully embroidered uh, with a tinsel embroidered thread which has such pretty sparkly highlights of like green and pink and blue. Very faint, but you can see it. And half of the leaf is also embroidered with a design. And the center has all those beautiful pearlized stamens in there. And I'm hoping that you can see that. And also, uh, you have the uh, round shooting pearls on, on a clear wire there. And it's a very large flower. Okay, I'm just going to put the ruler up against it so that you know that um, I'm telling you from the top of that shooting pearl to the very bottom. Now, I bent this a little bit. It's about a good 7.5 to 8 inches long. I mean, 3, 4 of these on a white wreath and a really big velvet bow, you have the shabbiest Christmas decoration in the house. So, I'm um, also seeing uh, some more of those very pretty appliques in an eggshell beige color and some of the snowflakes again there just beautiful i have a strand of pearls from my stash just dangling down in the center and you can see the snowflake there i have in the center of the wreath just hanging down on one of those little uh jewel hangers that i purchased i believe it was from joanne's craft store a while back very very pretty the snowflakes are absolutely outstanding you have to get those and I am on a white vintage tablecloth right now, so I'm hoping that you can see this clearly. To these two beautiful doilies, really pretty for flower making, but you can also decorate your uh, tree with those. You can um, probably put like a hook inside one of them and maybe like a, a, a heavy weighted piece of uh, chipboard on the back. You can paint it white and put a few flowers in the center and have your own uh, ornament that you can make very, very simply. Um, there's also this really pretty um, acetate uh, or resin type clear butterfly that I love also. Very, very pretty, very shabby chic along with these calla lilies, which are this beautiful flower. That was my sister's favorite flower, too. 
And um, when she passed away, I bought like four dozen of them in a tremendous urn. Anyway, those are one of the most elegant and beautiful flowers I believe that there are, and they are all tinseled with glitter. Uh, the glitter is white on white. Very, very pretty, very elegant. You can certainly use this for any project, and you also can stick them in your wreath. You can wrap them around um, the branches on your tree, like on the tips. They're really very elegant. I love playing around with different things at uh, decoration time uh, when, the, uh, when Christmas comes around. And so now I'm going to move over, even though I don't want to stop looking at all of this because it's so yummy. But I'm going to just move over here, and I'm going to, since we're looking at flowers, I'm going to go ahead and show you this really beautiful Love is in the Air, Romance Love is in the Air uh, flowers from Lily. Absolutely beautiful. And these are like probably a nylon fabric of some sort. Uh, it is not shiny. It's matte. However, the center is a little deeper ivory, and those are also a uh, pearlized center. Just absolutely beautiful. I love those. I was in such awe when I saw them. Lily, these are so, so gorgeous. I'm thinking of all kinds of ways to use these, and they, they look so pretty just the way they are. I mean, if you guys can see, I had put them in a milk glass vase, and I just tied a bow and I let it dangle down of some of the new velvet trim that Lily has. And that can be used in many ways. You can put it in your hair, your little girl's hair. You can use it on your project, tie it up as a gift. It's very, very pretty. It's a deep charcoal gray, and I love it. And it doesn't only have to be used for Christmas. Um, but since we're talking about Christmas and it is that time of the year, I would definitely use that on something. And now I'd like to share with you some of these really beautiful laces. Oh, I have to say, this, I will, you know, I, I'm, I'm like tongue twisted because I keep saying, oh my God, this is the nicest one I've ever seen. This lace is really something else. And I'm just going to show you um, in the beginning here. Um, from the very end, which is like a, um, like a mesh, to all the way down here, which is like a, a, a shiny pearlized fabric, uh, this lace is three and a half inches in the width, but you've got one, two, three, four different, um, designs on the, on the trim, and what I want to show you that I love the most about this, which I was really kind of shocked too, is it's stretchy, you guys. Oh my goodness, this is so amazing. I have to show you something. This is not part of the project at all, but when I saw that, oops, when I saw that, I says to myself, now, one of you guys may have seen my video, but I made a garter. Can you imagine that? As a garter? How sexy and hot is this? Even around, you know, if you have a really pretty um, outfit holiday time and you want to dress yourself up, you can certainly put that around the sleeves. I mean, maybe like on some Velcro, because I don't know how uh, the washing instructions would be, and I don't want to say the wrong thing. Absolutely stunning. And I'm just going to move on over here um, to the next item, which is this... Oh, embroidered. It's almost like a silk that it's on. It's a scalloped edge. It's the embroidery threads. It's pearlized. So stunning. I keep calling my husband and say, come look, come look, come see. And this is three and a half inches wide also. Absolutely stunning. My mind is running wild with what I'm going to be doing with these things. And um, I put these little doodads on top of the black lace so that you can see it. Um, I hope that you can. One is a pearlized with a shimmer of um, different colors of like pink, green, and blue. Very, very pretty doodad. And then this absolutely beautiful little flower as well. It kind of resembles a poinsettia with a little rose in the middle and a rhinestone. Very romantic. I love it. Thank you so much, Lily. This is also some really sexy lace. Even though it's thin, 
And you guys might not be into black around this time of year, but you should be. Black is a very vibrant and sexy color and can be used any holiday. That's probably about a quarter of an inch wide. Scalloped, netted, black lace. Very, very pretty. And even though it's narrow, it can definitely be an asset to any project. So um, try to have a look at that as well. Now, this is without saying... When I first saw this, I like almost fell out of my chair. This is so gorgeous from end to end. You have four inches. You've got a scallop beginning. You've got kind of like an argyle uh, here in the center pattern. And then you've got a diamond shape pattern with um, ovals all inside this pattern here. And then you have these like icicle leaf type hanging down pieces. You can certainly cut this up and use like the leaves, these hanging pieces here, and then maybe this in the center, and then using that as something else if you like, if you're doing some kind of a, a photo book or uh, you want to use it for flower making by using your imagination, making some really big flowers, that's up to you. So absolutely beautiful. It's kind of a pearlized, off-white, creamy, beige kind of color. I love it. And moving on to the next item. This is another absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Now, I've already taken pictures of these. I still can't stop staring at it. Look at this. Where do you get these from? Absolutely amazing. And I'm going to measure this also for you to the last longest teardrop there and that is four inches wide. Now you've got all these pieces that you can cut off and use as leaves on your flowers or whatever you want to make on your project. Really really beautiful big scallops. Just absolutely stunning and this fabric um, this trim is more like a heavy weighted cotton fabric that's embroidered. Each piece is embroidered and it's absolutely stunning. Please take my word for this, friends. It is really an absolutely stunning piece. You won't be sorry. Trust me. There's nothing like seeing these things live. That's why I love making these videos because it really gives the person who's shopping the greatest impression, whether they like it or they don't like it. And this one is something that I also fell in love with. I love it all. This to me, I don't know, am I crazy? It looks like angels. One angel after the next. And measuring from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet, um, this one is a little, uh, it's almost, it's two inches wide. And this has kind of like a netting pattern, and you can certainly cut cut them up. I would say this piece, this, and the center looks like um, angel to me. I absolutely love it. I'm hoping that you can see that clear enough. And I should hit myself a little because I shouldn't have used a black background. <clears throat> but I can certainly um, take a piece of Lily's vintage paper and show you uh, what that looks like here just so that you have a better picture very gorgeous and I'll I'll also put this one next to it too so that you can see how beautiful that is just really really gorgeous and the last trim that I have is one that I've already had a chance to try out and this one I avocado dyed and any of you who like to do avocado dyeing these little hearts come out so great. And just think of buying a couple of yards of those and it looks like popcorn around your tree. You can even dye it whatever color you like if you want to. It's totally up to you if you want to try something like that. So the last thing that I'd like to share with you here today are some really beautiful napkins that are of a vintage theme for Christmas and Parisian that... Uh, you can use when Mod Podging or card making uh, or any other kind of mixed media project that you may be interested in doing that Lily has in her shop. So beautiful. This little girl, she um, has a sled with her. And it's a little snow in the background, an old-fashioned look, and she's holding a piece of the of the pine tree. Just beautiful. And speaking of pine trees, I really fell in love with this. One of our friends on Facebook had made a beautiful ornament and bottle uh, using this really pretty um, napkin. 
and uh, certainly uh, using Mod Podge for paper would be ideal for this. And here is another one, also Christmas themed. Very adorable.